my name is Hilary Mulek and I am a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas and welcome to another episode on my YouTube channel. This month is really special because I'm going to be sharing a four-part series all about my favorite features that I use in HoneyBook. And HoneyBook is my client management system. It is an all-in-one. I use it to send out proposals, invoices, contracts. I also use it to communicate back and forth with my clients. I use it to send out questionnaires and I create templates for brochures. I also collect payments over HoneyBook. It's just really an all-in-one client management system that is so awesome. If you're interested in trying HoneyBook out on your own, I have a code down in the description down below so you can get a one month free trial and then also 20% off if you decide to move forward with using HoneyBook as your client management system. So in my four part series for this month on my favorite features that I use in HoneyBook, today is gonna be part one and I'm gonna be talking about how I track leads in HoneyBook. So anytime someone fills out my inquiry form on my website, that inquiry form is an embedded contact form through HoneyBook. It's going to be categorized as a new lead on my HoneyBook tracker. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I manage my leads throughout the process of them inquiring, becoming a client, and then all the post-processing thereafter, and just how I organize my lead tracker in HoneyBook. So here I am in HoneyBook. I'm on the project page. So there's a home page of HoneyBook, projects, contacts, tools. And if I click on projects, I'm going to be brought to this page. And this is how I track my leads. So when you sign up for HoneyBook, some of these tabs will already be on here. And then it's also really easy to customize this and add tabs into your lead tracker if you want. And so how I've done this is here are all my projects that I have active. I also, ha that's also including my number of completed projects that I have completed over the last year or um, however long until I decide to archive them and put this in the, this little archived folder. But I'm going to start over here with inquiries. So anytime someone fills out a inquiry form on my website, they are going to be created a project within HoneyBook. So because I use the HoneyBook contact form and it's embedded in my website, anytime someone fills that out, submits it to me, it's going to send it to HoneyBook and create a new project for this. So right here, I currently have one inquiry that came in three hours ago. And so this is a new project that has been created for this inquiry. So after I reply to this contract, it's going to automatically put this into my replied folder. So here are a few leads that I've gotten over the past few days that I have replied to. And you can see this one's only 18 hours old. This one I replied to seven days ago. This one I replied to 16 days ago. So if at any point while I'm communicating with these clients, if they decide they wanna move forward with a consultation, which I don't do consultations with all my clients, but if they wanna move forward with a consultation, it would be really easy to move them to the consultation folder. If I decide that I wanna follow up with any of these people, you know, I haven't heard back from them. I just want to send them a little bit of a nudge, ask them if they're still interested. I will move them to the follow-up folder and it's really easy to move them. You can either select the project and go to move stage and then move them into a different stage in the tracker, or you can actually go into the project and you can move the stage from here. I'm going to go back to my project page. So right now I currently have five people that I followed up from. If for some reason I don't hear back from any of these people who I followed up with, I can really easily bulk select all and then I can just archive them and say why I'm archiving them. I haven't gotten a response from them. I'm outside of their budget, unavailable, lost to a competitor. Sometimes people will email me back and say, oh, we've decided to hire another photographer or oh, you're out of our price range. And so you can actually archive them based on those categories and you can track those things within HoneyBook. So now I'm gonna go over here to the proposal sent. And so these are people who I have uh, 
they inquired, I replied to them, and then they decided they wanted to move forward. So I'll go into this one right here. Um, so this is someone who was interested in booking a newborn session with me. And so we communicated back and forth and I sent them a proposal. It's really easy to send proposals. You can do create new. A proposal consists of an invoice, a contract, and then they pay at the end. You can also just do an invoice, just do a contract and there's lots of different smart files that you can send to your clients. So I sent them my proposal for my portrait sessions and when I do that, I just, it automatically sends them into the stage of proposal sent. So coming back here, here are some proposals that I have sent to people. After they sign their proposal, they will be moved into this folder. And then once their retainer has been cleared, so for both portrait sessions and weddings, I require a retainer in order for them to book. That's how they solidify their date. And then their remaining balance is due, well, with weddings, it's broken up uh, into multiple payments, but with portrait sessions, they're last payment is due a couple days before their session date. So after their proposal has been signed, they get moved to this folder. And then once they pay their retainer, it HoneyBook automatically moves them to the retainer paid folder so that they know I know that their retainer has cleared. And I accept through HoneyBook credit card payments and bank transfers. And both of those take a few days to be able to transfer funds. And so HoneyBook keeps track of that. And once those funds have been transferred and cleared, then it automatically sends them to to the next folder in my lead tracker. So after they've been put into the retainer paid folder, I actually manually move them into the planning folder. And so here are all the projects that I'm currently planning in the future. I have some weddings, portrait sessions, and such. And so these are all of my active projects of people who have booked me, but I have not shot their session or wedding yet. So after I do that, after I shoot their session or their wedding, I like to move them into the post processing folder. So let's go right here to Hannah Blank's newborn session. After I shoot their session, I can move them into the post processing folder, which means that I have shot it, but I'm just haven't delivered the final product yet. I'm gonna go back here to projects. So currently I don't have any projects that are in post processing. All of my projects are in the either planning phase or um, album phase. So with weddings, after I'm done shooting their wedding, I move them over to post processing until I deliver their final gallery. And then if they have an album that is also included in their package that they booked with me, I move them over to the album design folder. And so here are some people that were still working on their album, still working on finalizing that. And then once everything is said and done, I move them over to the completed folder. So some of these folders, HoneyBook will automatically move them as they progress in their client process with me. So for example, it automatically puts them in the inquiry folder when they've inquired with me. It'll automatically put them in the replied folder once I have replied back to them. It'll automatically move them from the proposal sent folder to proposal signed folder retainer paid folder, and then the rest of these folders I have to manually move them to because it just depends on what portion of their client process I'm in with them. So if they decide they wanna consult or if I'm following up with them, then I move them to these respective folders. Or down here, after I have shot their wedding or session, I'll move them to post-processing until I send them their final gallery. And then like I said, with weddings, I have added this other folder for a client album design so that I know that these specific clients have ordered packages that include albums and so I make sure to move their project into there. And then after that, I just put them in the completed folder. And then I like to keep files in the completed folder for about a year or so until I archive them and then those projects are closed out and then my tracker does not track those projects anymore. And that is how I track leads 
leads in HoneyBook. I hope that information was helpful to you. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you don't have HoneyBook and are interested in trying it, you can use my link down in the description down below to get a free trial and then 20% off if you decide you wanna move forward with HoneyBook as your client management system. I also wanted to mention before we finish today's video that I do have a freebie, a free guide available to you guys. It is my wedding workflow. So if you wanna see my exact wedding workflow that I have created within HoneyBook, it has multiple automations in it, and it's just really helpful in seeing start to finish how I work with my wedding clients. If you are interested in seeing my wedding workflow, you can download that in the link down below. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you again next week for my next installment on this series of my next favorite feature that I love using in HoneyBook. I'll see you next week.